Hi everybody. You've probably seen maps like this. The symbols, the circles, are sized proportionately to the data values. Maps like this can convey more information to the reader than maps using regular symbol markers, and they're easy to do in QGIS. In this video, we'll create this map showing city populations as the graduated symbols. We'll use two shapefiles from Natural Earth for this project. One of the countries layers, which I'll call the countries layer, and one of the populated places layers, which I'll call the cities layer. Open QGIS and add both of the files. Make sure the cities layer is above the countries layer. Double click on the countries layer to open layer properties. Click on the fill color bar and enter C8C8C8 into the HTML field, then click OK. Set the stroke color to white by clicking on the stroke color bar and entering a value of FFFFFF. Your map should look like this. Now for the city symbols. This technique uses a value in the dataset to determine the size of each symbol. To find this value, right click on the cities layer and select Open Attribute Table. Here's what we see. Scroll to the right and you'll see a field called Pop Max. This is the field we'll use to set the symbol sizes. Close the attribute table and double click on the cities layer to open layer properties. Click on Single Symbol at the top and select Graduated. Set the value field to Pop Max and the method to Size. Click the Classify button and you'll see this. Now click the Apply button and your map will look like this. So far, so good. Now we'll change the appearance of the circles. In the Layer Properties window, click on the Symbol bar to open Symbol Settings, then click on the Color bar and pick a color. I'll use DE1A3B. Then adjust the Opacity slider to 50%. I'll also set the Stroke to No Pen. Here's how that looks. A lot of the circles are pretty big. We'll change the classification method to fix this. In Layer Properties, change the mode from Equal Count to Pretty Breaks, then click next to the Trim box and enter 0 for precision. Click Apply. Here's what that does. You can try other classification methods. There's no correct one as long as you include the information in a legend. Next, we'll change the symbols. With the Layer Options panel for the Cities layer open, double click on the smallest dot symbol. The Symbol Selector window will appear. If you scroll down, you'll see some options for the symbol, including other shapes you can choose from. We'll leave these as circles for now. Back in the Layout Properties window, double click on the square symbol. I want this to also be a circle, so I'll click on Simple Marker and change it to a circle. Finally, click OK to return to the main map window. It should look like this. Next, I'll change the CRS to Natural Earth by clicking on the CRS button at the bottom right and selecting it from the list. Here's how that looks. I'd also like to make the symbols bigger. Open Layer Properties for the Cities layer. In the Size From fields, change the 8 to a 12, then click OK. Here's the result. And we're done. When you export the file, don't forget to add a legend. Check out my designer's guide to creating great maps at themapguide.net slash guide and download two free chapters. That's all for now. See you next time.